Hello ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? It is your host, the one and only one Hedison. Today guys, I'm bringing you another best class set of video over here onto my channel. What I'm going to be giving you guys today is the best AR assault rifle in my opinion in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, I have tried all seven assault rifles in this game and I have found one weapon that is incredibly balanced. One weapon that has an awesome damage, awesome fire rate, awesome accuracy, and an awesome range. So hopefully you guys will find this best class setup tutorial helpful. If you guys do please be sure to smack that like button really to help the channel grow if we can try to shoot for 50 likes on today's video guys that would mean the absolute world to me and without further ado let's get right into this best class setup the weapon that i chose for this best class setup is the man of war the man of war honestly has a good damage good range good fire rate and good accuracy even though there are other weapons in the assault rifle category that may have better damage range fire rate or accuracy in terms of their individuality but the weapon in this category by far that has the greatest balance and has the most evenly distributed abilities is the Man of War. I find myself being very, very comfortable running around on a map like Nuketown using the Man of War, even though a map like Nuketown is much more submachine gun based, I still find myself very comfortable and very likely and very confident to pick off lots of kills. So for this class setup, I actually have four attachments on my Man of War. So I use two primary gunfighter wild cards. The first attachment that I have on is Quick Draw, which is going to allow you to aim down the sights faster. This is huge. This is an attachment that you may actually be able to get away with if you're running an SMG, because SMGs usually aim down the sight faster than assault rifles, but on an assault rifle, you're definitely going to want to have quick draw. It's going to make you up and ready in those gunfights just in case you are caught in that close quarters combat situation with your assault rifle. Quick draw is definitely going to be the attachment you're going to want to have. For the second attachment, I have grip, which is going to reduce your recoil while aiming down the sights. This is huge. Like I already said, the Man of War has a pretty decent accuracy, one of the best in the assault rifle category, but adding grip is basically just going to make it like a laser machine. I have had so much success using this weapon, very, very little recoil when I run grip on it, so it's definitely something that you're going to want to have. The third attachment that I have on my AR is stock. Now, I know stock is something that was incredibly nerfed from Black Ops 2 to Black Ops 3. Stock back in Black Ops 2 was such an important attachment to have. If you weren't running stock, you weren't going to do as well with your assault rifles in most cases. That's just usually how it was. Stock, if you guys don't know, allows you to move faster while aiming down the sights. This is an incredibly awesome attachment. It isn't as good as it was in Black Ops 2, but still a very, very worthy attachment that I love to use in my ARs because that's always something that I've been very used to. And last, but certainly not least, for my last attachment, I have extended mags. This is going to be a really important attachment to have on. If you're aiming down the sights, looking over an objective, or maybe trying to pick off an enemy long range, you're going to want to be able to have more bullets in your magazine to increase your likelihood of picking them off. Let's say you're looking over the B objective, your enemy's only down by five points, and your teammates need to cap it, and you see five enemies start running towards that B objective, and you say, all right, let's do this, and you start unloading on those noobs. If you have extended mags on, you're going to increase your chances of picking off all five of those guys, which then in turn is going to allow your team to win, and then your team will bow down to you with your assault rifle skills because you watched this best class setup video and you know the right stuff to run. So extended mags is definitely an important attachment to have, in my opinion. You're definitely going to want to throw it on, especially if your shots may be a little bit iffy, and I'm not saying this to be mean, but if you think that most of the time your shots really aren't on people, you're going to want to throw an extended mags, have more bullets in your magazine in order to increase your chances of picking off that enemy. Now, I don't have a secondary or lethal or a tactical on this class setup, but I got some pretty awesome perks and I'm going to give those to you guys right now. For the perk one category, I have sixth sense. I cannot get over how insanely good this sixth sense perk is. Basically what it is, is it allows you to display a mini map indicator with the direction of nearby enemies. So every now and then what this perk is going to do is it's going to show where enemies are in relationship to you on any given part of the map, which is absolutely insane. It's not always on and it doesn't only work when your teammates have a UAV in the air. This is an individual, almost UAV that you have. It doesn't last forever though but it is going to come in super clutch if you're in those situations. Let's say you're playing up like on Nuketown, those spawns ain't going to flip and you're up on the top part of the house and you're thinking, oh my gosh, my teammates just ran out there. UAV, counter UAV, and orbital visa, and the enemies just got a UAV. What on earth am I going to do? Your sixth sense perk is going to kick in and be like, there's an enemy here, bam, 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 and bam. You're going to be able to pick all those guys off, which is absolutely insane. Love this perk. Probably my favorite perk in this game. For perk two, you're going to want to have on scavenger. This perk is insane. You guys all know how good this perk is if you've been affiliated with Call of Duty for any amount of time. Scavenger is that perk that you're going to want to have. It's going to allow you to replenish your ammo and equipment from enemies killed by non-explosive weapons. So basically, 
you're going to be able to run around, collect ammo, and get kills, so you're going to be allow yourself to continue to use this Man of War class setup for as long as possible, and you won't have to risk running out into the open, picking up one of your enemy's weapons, and then trying to get back to safety, or maybe picking off more of those kills. You'll already have ammo in your magazine because you'll be running Scavenger. And the last, but certainly not the worst perk in this class setup is Gung Ho. This perk is absolutely insane. You guys are definitely going to want to run this, especially when using a weapon like an assault rifle like the Man of War. What it basically is is it allows you to hit fire your weapon, deploy equipment, and throw grenades while sprinting. This is huge. A perk like Gung Ho really goes well with an attachment like Quick Draw in my opinion because it just allows you to stay more up and ready in those gunfights. Let's say an enemy's shooting at you, you need to get around the corner, and you're not willing to turn around and try to shoot him and engage in that gunfight. You try to run around that corner, but oh my gosh, you're in the middle of reloading and you can't sprint. Well, if you have this perk on, ladies and gentlemen, you will be able to sprint and you'll be able to get around that corner and bring yourself to safety so you do not die. But anyways guys, hopefully you all did find this best class setup helpful. If you guys did, please be sure to smack that like button. It really does help the channel grow. Like I said, we're shooting for 50 likes on this video guys. That would mean the absolute world to me and you guys are definitely going to want to be subscribed right here to my channel if you are not already. I'll be bringing you guys awesome Black Ops 3 content as we move through its entire lifespan. And if you guys did watch this entire video, then be sure to comment down below, hashtag Man Award, that'll let me know that you guys watched this entire gameplay. And anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Until next time, everybody, keep gaming, and as always, stay cool. Adios.